All right, March 16th, um, 2021. And today is day 10 of our intermediate three, nine to 10 p.m. class. So we're just waiting for students. We're gonna be starting, or we're gonna be reviewing the feelings and gestures. And then we're gonna go into permissions, prohibitions um, for today's lesson. So today's lessons will be uh, permission, prohibition, and obligation. And we'll start off with a review as um, soon as everyone shows up. So we'll just wait. Hey, Joel, how are you? Hey, teacher. I'm pretty good. What about you? How are you? Pretty good. You know, it's uh, it's good that it's almost our the last hour, 9 to 10 for me is the last class that I have for the day. So it's good. Then I get a chance to relax. Okay, okay. That sounds, sounds great. Yeah. And what about you, Joel? What, it, uh, why do you study from nine to ten? Why not from earlier? Uh, well, I I don't remember the main reason. I think that I I, I wait. Um, I try to 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 apply to the eight o'clock uh, p.m. schedule, but I don't remember what happened. I don't know if there were. Uh, muy pocos alumnos, uh, so, so they moved me to nine, and and that's uh, that's okay be, uh, because I don't know um, wait I don't know how to say it, pero me desvelo bastante. Ah, uh, I stay up so, late. Yes, so it's not it's not a problem to me to stay awake. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I know that a lot of times a lot of people say, ah, oh, no, it's so late, nine o'clock, the class. Yeah. Good night. Hey, Carlo. But for you, Joel, it's no problem. Yeah, it's, it's not a problem. Okay. And Carla, what about you? Why do you study from nine to ten? Why um, why didn't you study earlier? Uh, um, because I work on the, um, how do you say, hasta muy tarde. Until very late. Until very late for my work, I start in eight. I am um, finish. I don't have um, a hour for finish my work. Mm. I finish my journals, uh, my work, six, seven, eight o'clock in the night. Um, in this this class, I'm falling in. It's too easy to me for a focus in the class, and it and my work okay yes i i understand because if you don't have a time to finish your work it's difficult to to have the class early so maybe sometimes you have to stay late or do something 
Yes. Um, um, Andre and the class, it finished the to to dinner uh, very fast uh, because um, my work I finished um, ten ago ten minutes ago mm -hmm. um, uh, to lay four or five minutes in the class. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Carla, what time do you normally go to bed? Um, 10, 30 or 11 for my, uh, my body. I impact my body and I don't know sleep for thinking in the world, in the family, in the class. <laughs> And uh, with the time yeah, to sleep in my in my bed. Yeah, then you go. I so tired. Of, I I three days is so tired of because the my family. I I am teacher for the children for my. I don't remember who do you say sobrinos? Uh, nephews and nieces. Nephews, nephews and nieces. Mm. I, uh, I am the teacher for them. Um, I work in twice a time. Work in my work and teacher for my nice. I'm so tired this day. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's is is late. It's hard. And you, Salvador? Hi, hello, amigo. How are you doing? How are you, Salvador? What time do you go to bed, Salvador? Oh, sometimes eleven o'clock. Sometimes okay. early. It depends, you know. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I was, how about you? Uh, mm -hmm. Usually around twelve o'clock. I usually. I'm uh, not. I'm not like Cohen. midnight. Yeah, yeah, around around midnight. Sometimes, like like Carla says, it really depends my day. Some days I'm tired, and at eleven thirty, poof, I am asleep. And sometimes, yeah. and sometimes I had a, a relaxing day, and it's one thirty or two in the morning, and I'm awake. All right, no too much broken, huh? <laughs> no, but but the difference is that I don't work in the morning, so for me. Is no problem. I wake up early. I wake up late. I wake up at five. I wake up at eight or nine. It's it's the same, because I don't Your work. Your schedule is very it's, it's very nice. Yeah. Mm, more or less, it's because I I I I have a schedule that really my class or my work begins in the afternoon because the most people like to learn English in the afternoon, not in the morning. Yeah. And it I You're understand. Right. I understand because in the morning for most people it's difficult because they wake up late, they have to go to the office, they take a shower, they go to the gym, they, and and then they they feel like ah oh, too much stress in the morning. But in the afternoon, yeah, many things. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in the afternoon more people. Many like, things to do, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at and we're going to um, continue talking a little bit about a couple of things that we we have um first we're going to start with a review about our emotions our descriptions so here we're going to have a, a few questions that we're going to ask our partners um i'm going to put them in the chat so that way you remember them and you don't get confused right. uh, okay okay so since we're talking about e emotions and gestures, um, we're going to be making questions like, when was the last time you were happy, angry, sad, mad, different different emotions, okay? And then or right. another one that we can have is uh, similar, but is what happened um, uh, the last time? Let me put it in there. Okay. And also we're going to ask follow-up questions. So 
if I say, uh, if I'm talking to Dennis and I say, hey, Dennis, when was the last time you were angry? And Dennis says, oh, um, last week or today. Uh, today, I, I was angry today. Then I follow up the question, hey, what happened? Uh, where did this, uh, who were you with? Or why were you angry? Uh, who were you angry at? Different questions. But the idea is for us to practice reviewing our emotions and our gestures, but specifically talking about emotions. Remember that Emotion. when we talk about emotions, the normal emotions we know, and we remember like angry, happy, sad, but we also learned that many emotions we use are with ED. Remember ED. So I was excited, right? I was terrified. Yeah. I, I was amazed, right? This is for me, the person. These are the emotions to describe me or for another person. But when we talk about emotions for things, then it's not ED. Then the movie was exciting. Uh, the, the book was terrifying. The ING. You know, ING, exactly. Yes. ING. So for the person, ED. My feelings, uh, a person's feelings, ED, right? Uh, for right. the for the object, for the things, um, those are ing. So we're going to start by, right. we're going to begin asking those questions and follow up questions uh, with our partners, right? So what are the questions for those that are, that don't see it, I'll, I'll copy and paste them one more time to make sure that you have them. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you were and what happened the last time you were? And then remember, you put in the emotions. So when was the last time you were happy, for example, or excited, or you know, scared, whatever it is, okay? Whatever it is. Yeah. So, so we're gonna take, <clears throat> we want to practice. Remember, the we're practicing two things. One, making the questions but and the answers, but the other is working on our fluency. So when you answer, if you don't have an answer, stop. Think about your answer so that you become more fluent. Don't answer, the last time I was sad was... No, no, no. You want to become more fluent. You become more natural. So if you don't have an answer, take a moment, think about it. And then when you are ready with your response, answer fluently. The last time I was sad was when I went to visit my grandmother and, you know, then you have a complete sentence, a fluent sentence. Fluent sentence. Okay. Is that okay for everybody? How to answer? Yes, it's okay. Salvador, yes. Everyone else? It's clear, teacher. It's clear for Dennis. Okay. Okay. I think it's clear for everyone. Then. <clears throat> so remember, we're asking questions about emotions. But the, that is the topic. But the focus is working on our fluency. Fluency. Emotions. Okay. Remember to accept the invitations for the groups. Doris, uh, Salvador, Dennis. Are you okay, Dennis? Hello, teacher. 
Hey, Nuria. Hey, Dennis. It's there is, no, there is no, no one here in my room. Dennis is here, Nuria. I'm Dennis. here, Nuria. Ah, I'm sorry, ah. Dennis. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and Nuria, what, and Nuria, what happened? What happened? Nobody hit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dennis oh, is here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nuria. But you, you complete the question. You were happy for it. It's okay, Luis. You are here. Hello, teacher. Hello, Luis. You have a Hello. your partners are Carla and Doris. And Hello. Hi, Luis. Good evening. Okay, okay, teacher. Hi, good evening, Doris. Hi, Luis. Hi. Hello, Doris. Hi, Luis. Hi, good evening. You can listen to me? Yes. Yes, I can hear, I hear you. But I don't see you because okay. I am sharing the screenshot. <laughs> um, teacher, uh, yeah, I can explain for Luis to the exercise. Yes, please explain to Luis. <laughs> to please, explain. Please. <laughs> <laughs> explain to Luis, teacher. Okay, I explain, Carla. Luis, you are going to talk about emotions and feelings. So this is to help us review yesterday. So we have some questions that we can ask the partners. For example, when was the last time you were angry, happy, sad, or what happened the last time you were excited or scared, okay? These are some of the questions we're going to ask. Then uh, you can also ask follow-up questions. For example, where did this happen? Uh, who, did, who were you with? Uh, why did this happen? Different uh, questions depending on the situation. So with your partners, you're going to practice asking questions and using the emotions. The idea is to work on fluency, Luis. So you do not want to answer, mm, for example, you do not want to answer, the last time I was happy was, no, no, no. You want to prepare the answer in your mind think about what you want to say, and then speak fluently. The last time I was happy was when I went to the beach with my family, as an example, okay? So you, we are practicing the questions, but we are focusing on the fluency. Okay. It's okay, Luis? It's okay. All I right. understand. Okay, excellent. Then you practice with Carla and Doris. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for this playing. You're welcome. That's too so bad. I was really, really sad. Yes, that, that's sad. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, What what happened the last time you were worried? The last the last time I was I was worried. Yes. Uh, maybe it was today, today too in the afternoon. As I told you, I went to to visit some friends, but I didn't know the the address, so I was kind of worried. Yes. The people, um, 
The people are angry. Yes, angry, enojados. Yes. It's like that, you know. Many people, when they get their goals, they usually feel good. But when they don't, they feel, you know, this disgusted. They feel angry. And sometimes if you have problems with your job, in your job with the production, uh, I don't know what kind of job you have. But, you know, everyone, your psyche is, you know, your stress. Uh, it's not so good when you come back home and you try to feel good and you feel bad because your family is just receiving, you know, your models. Maybe you come from out very angry. You don't feel okay this day in your job. And many things that, you know, that are mixing job with family is not easy. And you know, it's not so good too because uh, it's difficult, it's difficult, but it's not impossible to try to change, you know. If you try to change your mind, you will try to help yourself and try to help your family because everything is like that. And it's not easy, like that, Esmeralda. Okay, tell me more, please. That's it. How about your mom? How about your your family that is around your your work? Tell me. Hello. Is it Yes. Yes, uh, you're getting a conversation. My interview. It was in and I didn't speak like today, for example, and they asked me technically for they make okay. me a technical questions. For me, it was very difficult to understand, even though yeah. it, they gave me that the job. Imagine okay, me. Very nice. it, it, yeah, maybe you Super will eight. get 